Minecraft. Minecraft is a sandbox video game released by video game developer Mo Yang in 2009. One of the core features of Minecraft that sets it apart from most other video games is its overarching theme, being everyone and anyone's ability to create nearly anything they can imagine. Today we will be delving in depth into one of Minecraft's more overlooked features, being its representation of gravitational fields. While Minecraft's infinite world may all be flat, the developers most definitely put great time and effort into portraying some of the world's more realistic features. In this video, we will be conducting an experiment to determine the acceleration of gravity in the game Minecraft. Upon researching this topic, we found a video by YouTube user Nofly demonstrating the process he used to find the acceleration of gravity within Minecraft. We decided to conduct a version of his original experiment to verify his results. If you haven't played Minecraft before, you probably wouldn't know what a sand cannon is and what in the world it has to do with physics. However, the observant among you may notice how we can apply a sand cannon's parabolic motion to find the gravitational constant of falling objects. In Minecraft, gravity acts differently on certain objects. However, in most cases, we can solve for the acceleration due to gravity using a very simple formula y is equal to v naught t plus one half a t squared plus y initial. Solving for a, we find it equal to 2y over t over 2 squared, where t is the time from the initial launch and y is the height. The usefulness of these findings could be used by the players of Minecraft and the machines they build. For example, a common minigame people play within Minecraft is TNT Wars, where players shoot blocks of TNT at one another using cannons. The acceleration of gravity and distance needed to be traveled can be used to find the angle and magnitude of its initial velocity. The procedure for our experiment is as follows. First, load a super flat world. Second, build the sand cannon as shown using dispensers, TNT, redstone, obsidian, a bucket of water, a piston, and a sand block. Third, we then fire off the cannon and find the landing location. Half the landing location is the apex of the object's trajectory, and at that point we make a colored tower to mark the height of the sand block travels. Since every block in Minecraft is 1 meter by 1 meter by 1 meter, each colored block represents a meter. To finally begin collecting data, press the button priming the TNT used to launch the sand block. Upon explosion, starting the time on the stopwatch and end the time once it hits the floor. While the block is in the air, record the highest point of travels using the colored tower as a guide. Repeat this trial two more times. Using this data, we find the average time and height for each of the launches and substitute it into the equation we derived earlier in the video, a is equal to 2y over t over 2 squared which brings us to approximately 20.6 meters per second squared, a little more than two times Earth's gravitational acceleration. In Nofli's experiment, he found Minecraft's gravitational acceleration was approximately 18 meters per second squared, so our answers were only off by a roughly 2.6 meters per second squared. In short, our answers do support Nofli's findings, however, we do believe that the value he had discovered may be slightly too low. 